G'day there, you're watching the Aussie BIM Guru and today we have a quick and fairly straightforward tutorial on a really handy technique we're going to be using in future in developing our add-in and that is going to be introducing some extension methods into our toolbar. So the goal today is going to be to switch from just using static utility classes and we're going to instead actually append new methods onto existing classes such as the UI application or ribbon panels. And this will effectively extend these classes with these methods when we're writing our code, which can often be a lot more intuitive when we're doing methods that actually extend an object of a particular type of class. So you'll see what we mean when we get started. But we're building upon what we already have. So if you don't already have a toolbar, feel free to check out my uh, GitHub where you can find a lesson by lesson breakdown of the toolbar as we develop it. So to make an extension method, the syntax is fairly straightforward. Like, I'd like to thank um, Sean Page who showed this to me from RDG. Um, but in this case, instead of writing a method the way we have been so far, instead we make sure that the first argument we use is of the type of the class we want to extend. And then we use the keyword this before it, which will imply that this is actually gonna be a method that is extended on objects of that data type instead. In terms of how we name extensions, this is really up to us. I like to put them into a namespace called extensions in your toolbar. Um, generally for the classes, I tend to name them with the full name uh, case sensitive of the class we're extending underscore EXT with a capital E to show that this is the class being extended. I then do the opposite for method names. I put EXT on the front. That way when I'm looking for extension methods, I can type in EXT and it will just start finding extension methods of that object. It also makes sure that you don't clash between method names or class names, which would be quite problematic if, if that ever happened. So we're gonna do a quick demonstration. It's a very quick and simple video today but a technique you can probably play around with quite a bit in your own toolbar. So we're gonna set up the folder in the namespace and we're gonna set up two extension classes and some extension methods. And we're generally going to be borrowing methods we've already built that were being applied in the construction of our ribbon. Um, and from there, we're just gonna modify the code to suit extension methods and how we implement them. So I'm just gonna jump over to Visual Studio in my project. So we have our on startup method and currently when we're setting up our ribbon, uh, we're generally calling upon static class. In this case, the ribbon utilities class to do things like add a ribbon tab, add a ribbon panel to the tab, add push buttons to the ribbon panel. And we can see that we're generally dealing with one argument that we're doing most of the thing to. So for example, when I add a ribbon tab, I'm really doing it to the UI controlled application. That is really the object that we're using to trigger this whole event. Likewise, when we create a ribbon panel, likewise, I'm taking the UI controlled application and adding a ribbon panel to it. Um, as well as this, when we're adding a push button to a panel, we're really adding a push button to a panel. So let's extend these objects instead of forcing them to be an argument in our method, which will be a lot more syntactically clear. So the methods that we're gonna be taking are gonna to belong to the ribbon utilities class. But first of all, I'm gonna add a new folder to my project. And I'm gonna call this folder extensions. I'm then going to, in this case, add a new item and I'm gonna add a class and I'm gonna call the first one UI application underscore EXT. And I'll just double check that's correct. I think this is actually the UI controlled application. So let's name it properly. And I'm gonna say, in this case, it's already done this for me, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your extensions namespace is common to all of your extension classes. And in this case, we're again gonna change this from internal class to public static class. And this is where we're gonna set up our extension methods. So the two methods, or actually three of them that we're gonna take are gonna to relate to ribbon tabs. So let's firstly just borrow this method here and paste it in. Now at the moment, this isn't quite set up to be an extension method. We also have to say this, and this will imply that UI controlled application is actually going to be the extended object. Um, I like to also generally say extended in the argument. So it's really clear when someone looks up this method, they understand that the first variable is the extended object in the, um, in the method signature. But otherwise we don't have to change anything else. So what I can do is go back to my application class and I can just say using 
uru.extensions to reference the namespace. And when I'm adding a ribbon tab, I can change this. So I can take my UI controlled application, take it out. And instead we can see I've just extended the UI controlled application object as its class by adding the ribbon tab using an extension method instead. So now I can go to ribbon utilities and we don't actually need this method to be set up in the static class anymore. We can now instead treat it as an extension method. Likewise, I've got some ribbon panel methods. So I have one for adding a ribbon panel to a tab, which again, we're really starting with our UI controlled application. And I also have one for getting a ribbon panel by name. So again, I can just take these methods and I can just move them to the extensions class. And again, I'm just gonna quickly set up the, the right annotations and tell this variable it's being extended. And likewise, I can tell this, I think I've just deleted something accidentally. There we go. I'll tell it it's being extended. And in this case, uh, we can say, just add ribbon panel to tab, or it's up to us. Um, we can also just say add ribbon panel, maybe add ribbon panel to tab is a little bit too, long, uh, maybe add ribbon panel is a sufficient description. So let's just make that shorter. And let's just say this is get ribbon panel because we're going to apply these to the UI controlled application. So we don't actually need these functions to be as descriptive as before because some of this is sort of implied. So again, we can shorten this to an extension method and modify our name. And we can see we're now able to work with extension methods inside extension methods as well. So we're starting to see the versatility of C-sharp and Visual Studio starting to really take form. Back in the application class, again, I'm gonna take my extended UI control application and switch it back to add ribbon panel. So the last one that we need to do is the add push button to panel method, which in this case, we're gonna create another extension method for, and this is going to be for ribbon panels. So I'm gonna add a new item. And again, we're gonna add a class. And I'm gonna call this ribbon panel underscore ext. It belongs to the extensions namespace. And we're gonna make this a public static class. And again, it's just that simple. We're coming back to ribbon utilities and we're stealing our method and we're just switching it over to an extension method. So again, we're just gonna say in this case, extended, and we can actually simplify this method. We've got some old arguments living in there. Um, but again, we just wanna say this ribbon panel instead, and that's it. We've switched it over to an extension method. Now notice in this case, I've lost some context. So command to base name in this case is more of a utility. It doesn't really depend on a, a class object. It depends on a string. So I'm gonna to have to reintroduce the ribbon utilities class and reference it in here as well, just like I did before. So that's the, the only real uh, sort of drawback to this is you will have to sort of set up a few things again across the extension method and your utilities sometimes. Now in this case, uh, I'm gonna have to start referencing all of these little helper functions, given that they no longer belong in the same library. But we can see otherwise that satisfied the references back to the ribbon utilities to those three methods. Now we have an extension method and I can, just, I can now just say add push button because the panel is implied through being extended. So back in my application class, I can just switch this back to add push button and I no longer need the panel because I'm gonna be extending it instead. So I'm going to extend panel general and add a push button. And we can see now this is just so much more syntactically clear. We can see that we're adding a ribbon, a ribbon tab to the UI controlled application. We're referencing and getting a panel from the UI controlled application and we're adding a push button to the panel we just created. So it's a small little thing, but over time you'll find that this will become much more intuitive, especially when we begin working with the Revit API and things like collectors, which we often begin from a document class. Um, but that's effectively all I wanted to cover today, just a really handy technique to be aware of and one that we'll be using in future quite a lot as well. 
So hopefully that was um, a useful and interesting technique. If you're keen to learn more and also see how I've been using extension methods more broadly, feel free to check out my toolbar over on GitHub, uh, GWiz, where I use extension methods quite a lot. Thanks for watching today. Um, if you like what you saw, uh, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and let other people know about the videos if they're helping you, because a lot of other people should probably learn C Sharp as well. In this case, you can reach me at aussiebimguru at gmail.com or in the comments below if you have questions about the video. And I look forward to seeing you in future similar videos. Thanks. Take care. Bye.